Hey everyone, Corey Anderson here. Today I'm going to be going over through this book. It's called How the Mind Works by Christian D. Larson. It was written back in 1912. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and read you the back of it so you guys can get an idea before we get moving on with this book. So, your mind, your third eye, Ajna, the connecting link between your inner world and the external world. So, let's get started. Everything that is in action must necessarily work through definite laws. And as the mind is in constant action, alternating its actions at almost every turn of thought or feeling, it is evident that a vast number of laws are employed by the mental process. To know how the mind works, therefore, we must know something about these laws. In the following pages, the most important of the mental and metaphysical laws known to date are considered from every possible viewpoint, the principal object being to ascertain their real nature as well as their power in use. In addition, a number of psychological ideas are presented that will throw light both on the inner and the outer workings of the mind. No effort, however, has been made to delve into the mysteries of the mind. This will be done in another work. The object here is to present the practical side of mental action. The practical side. The practice. To put your mind into practice. And present it in such a way that anyone may learn to use the powers of the mind properly. At, and at any present stage of psychological study, this is the most important. We know, we want to know how the mind does work so that we may, in all mental work, use the mind in the best, the fullest, and the most effective manner. So, with that being said, science, we, we have one mind. And our mind has two functions. You could either close your eyes and go within and create your ideas. You know, you, you have something you want to work towards. You know, you close your eyes and picture it. You know, create that vision. You know, and make it something worth, make it something that's worth it for you and what you want to accomplish, what you want to accomplish. Because we are all put on this earth to help each other out. Every single one of you is special in your own way. There's no need to take anything from any, anyone else because you have your own specialty to offer. You have your own voice. You have your own mind. You have your own ideas. No two people are made the same way. So, your mind. They like to put it in the conscious and the subconscious mind. The conscious part of the mind is only the you observing the external world, you know, the world we all share. And then the subconscious mind is when you close your eyes and go within, you know, within yourself, your consciousness, your, your inner world, because we all have a world within, a world of thoughts, moods, and feelings. And whatever is happening inside of you, you are expressing in the external world. So, that being said, How the Mind Works by Christian D. Larson, written back in 1912. Forward. Everything that is in action must necessarily work through definite laws, and as the mind is in constant action, alternating its actions at almost every turn of thought or feeling, it is evident that a vast number of laws are employed by the mental process. To know how the mind works, there, we must know something about these laws. Okay. So some of this that I'm reading was put on the back, but the forward, the first three paragraphs we read, we're going to read in the forward, is going to be the same as we just read in the back. And I'll read it to you again, so you hear it again. And then we'll finish the forward, and then after, we'll start with the first chapter. So... In the following pages, the most important of the mental and metaphysical laws known to date are considered from every possible viewpoint, the principal object being to ascertain their real nature as well as their power in use. 
In addition, a number of psychological ideas are presented that will throw light both on the inner and outer workings of the mind. Inner and outer workings of the mind. No effort, however, has been made to delve into the mysteries of the mind. This will be done in another work. The object here, being, is to present the practical side of mental action, and present it in a way, in such a way that anyone may learn to use the powers of the mind properly. And at the present stage of psychological study, this is the most important. We want to know how the mind works so that we may, in all mental work, use the mind in the best, the fullest, and the most effective manner. The fact that we have, in the past, known practically nothing about the real workings of the mind, and also there are only a few minds, even in the present, that have gained the power to direct and control mental action according to system, design, and law, should make the study of this book both interesting and profitable. In fact, we are convinced that all who understand the purpose and the message of this book will become highly enthused over its practical value and will accordingly gain more from its perusal perusal than tongue could ever tell. That this number may be a very large in the present and constantly becoming larger in the future is our dearest wish in this connection. For when you know that a certain thing is very true and so very important, you want everybody else, if possible, to gain all that you have gained from the understanding and use of that particular thing. And this is natural. We all want to share the truth with others. We all want everybody to gain that power through which the richest and the best that life has in store may be realized. And this fact proves that there is a far more and noble human nature than we have previously believed. However, it is only as we learn to use the mind in harmony with the natural and the orderly workings of mental law that everything that is noble in human nature will find expression. What we want for ourselves, we want for all. Because what we get for ourselves, we get for all. We are all here for each other. And until everybody understands who they are and how they work, only where peace and harmony resonate with each other. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to love each other, you know, and share with each other. So, that being said, that ends it with the forward. And in the next chapter, we're going to go ahead and in the next video, we're going to go over the next chapter. So, thank you guys for watching this. If you liked it, please share and uh, please subscribe. Um, I'll see you on the other side of the galaxy.